Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural mood nourishing cream. Generally, when you have good skin or your skin's looking good, you feel good. When you look good, you feel good. That's how the old saying goes. So it's good to have an active in there that's gonna help with improving your mood. So that could be things that are gonna improve your skin, improve your well-being, you know, relieve some type of skin issues, whether that's acne, dry skin, or itching or redness. So some type of skin improvement is also gonna nourish the mood that you're in. And what better way to nourish your mood with a night cream being applied with mood enhancing actives that you can go to bed in. That's also gonna improve the quality um, of sleep as well. Now let me show you how to put it together. Alrighty, so my natural mood nourishing cream, starting off with my water face here. And to this, I'm gonna be adding a slurry. So I've got some guar gum here. This is the Active Soft S and I'm gonna be adding it to some glycerin. Now, two benefits of using a humectant here, one for obviously slurry the gum, and two, we're gonna add a little bit of conditioning and moisturizing to the skin. It's gonna make it nice and plump, and this is also gonna to contribute to the mood side of the, nut, of the cream. Now, this cream is better to use at night time. It is on a little bit of the heavier side, not heaps heavy, but is a little bit heavier. So it's best to use as um, a night cream. Now, once you've got a smooth slurry, we're just gonna add it to the ward phase. Give it a stir. Now, this won't fully hydrate straight away, but we are gonna add it on heat in just a moment and you will start to see it does start to thicken up and make a nice gel. So I'm gonna pop that one on heat there. And while that's heating, I'm gonna to put together my oil face. So I have some Olive M 1000 in here by Hallstar. This is a non-ionic uh, emulsifier. And to this, I'm gonna be adding a bit of steric acid. This is an anionic emulsifier. So this is gonna help contribute to making a very nice stable cream. And then obviously to form a pretty good viscosity as well. Now I'm gonna be adding some caprylic capric triglycerides. This is a medium skin feel lipid. This is naturally derived. I'm gonna be adding some camellia tea oil. This is a natural plant oil. This is a good antioxidant and it's gonna help uh, condition and soften the skin. And then just to get that real nice balance and real good skin feel, I'm gonna be adding a light feeling ester here. So this is naturally derived, it's cocoa caprylate. This is gonna ensure that the cream is not too heavy, not too greasy, because it is getting applied on the face. Even though it is a night cream and can be a little bit on the heavier side, you don't want a face full of grease. So that's gonna help give it that real good balance. Now, let's talk about claims when it comes to a uh, mood nourishing or a similar type of cosmetic. So unfortunately, you can't make claims about mood elevation for a cosmetic. You can definitely show the data with the actives that you're using, but you can only make appearance-based claims um, like skin rejuvenation or other clever marketing such as, you know, when you look great, you feel great. But that's pretty much as far as you can take it. You can still show the mood evidence when it comes to the actives being used, but you do need to be careful of the claims that you're making to make sure they're compliant. Okay, so once your oil phase has melted, we're gonna pour it into our water phase. And give that a good stir and you'll start to see a really nice white emulsion start to form. If you're not using any um, shear sensitive materials, always make sure that you use high shear to form your emulsion. So it reduces the particle size. And we're just gonna give it a bit of a stir to help it start cooling down. Now, while that's cooling, I'm gonna talk you through the active I'm gonna be using today. So this here is the Anona Sense by CLR. This is Cosmos approved, so you can use it in organic and natural formulations. 
It's got soothing, calming and anti-stress properties. Now, some of the skin benefits are that it reduces the TRPV1 induced inflammation through activation of the cannabinoid receptor type 2. It also reduces sensitivity and itching and improves the skin's overall appearance. And it also enhances uh, well-being and quality of life. So it adaptogenic properties to relieve stress and, and rebalance the skin. It also expands the body's natural capacity to handle stress. Uh, it establishes a healthy homeostasis in the skin and it reduces skin sensitivity, enhances the appearance of healthy looking skin. So I will pull up some in vivo data here for skin sensitivity. There was one application of test product on 17 and 18 volunteers who have sensitive skin. And you can see here the formulation with the Anona Sense by CLR in it performed 60% better than the placebo. So that was using 3% of this active. Now, if you look over here to the second graph, this uh, is another in vivo test done on skin appearance. So in a double blinded test, there were 22 volunteers and then there were also 20 tested on a placebo formulation. So the redness was scored at T0 and after 17 days of twice daily application of both products. The formulation with the Ananosense reduced skin redness by 25%. And then there's also some other studies here for skin discomfort. So again, there was another test done on 22 volunteers. And you can see here there was improvements with the formulation containing the Ananosense just after one and five minutes after applying the product. And then also after 24 hours, you can see here that there's a big improvement there and then they also have perception of skin health and well-being so 22 volunteers who applied a non sense by CLR formula um, they were given a questionnaire after 17 days of twice daily application and just after 17 days of daily use of the product consumers found that both intensity and the frequency of itching were reduced by no less than 73 percent and a total of 54.5% of consumers confirmed that the feeling of tension in their skin was reduced and the same number reported the quality of their life had improved. So I'm going to add that one in. Now, some other good tips to making a mood enhancing or a mood nourishing cream is scent. So we've got, you know, humectant, we've got uh, a good balance of lipids there to, you know, soften and plump up the skin. I reckon a scent also is going to enhance your mood. Something that's a bit uplifting or something that's calming. I've chosen a citrus blend here because I feel citrus is quite uplifting. You can also choose something calming and soothing like lavender or chamomile. But having a good scent is also going to improve your mood. I'm gonna add my preservative here. This is the Cosphoderm Multi Meg by Cosphotech. And then of course, some tocopherol. Now two benefits here to adding this is obviously it's gonna prevent the formula from getting oxidation from the plant oils, but it's also got some really good skin benefits. So we're hitting two birds with one stone here. Um, we're contributing to nourishing our mood with something that's gonna benefit our skin also. Now, we're just going to check and adjust our final pH. Now, it's pretty much sitting where I would like it, so I'm going to leave it. Now, full viscosity is not going to be achieved until the next day, so we're going to cover and leave this one, and you'll see the next day it would have thickened up quite a bit. Alrighty, and here's what our mood nourishing cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit. And look how beautiful and glossy that is. I don't know about you, but a glossy emulsion is definitely going to improve my mood. Because it's to me, it's very aesthetically pleasing. So that's going to definitely nourish my mood for sure. It's going to help me sleep at night, definitely. Good viscosity there, not too thick and heavy but also not too runny. And that just, that's so smooth and buttery on the skin. So to me, the feel is just beautiful. Nice and smooth and soft. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a natural mood nourishing cream. 
If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.